feels like, uh, you know, all we need is coffee or some cocktails and like two, two friends chatting about all the little things that we love to chat about. And what I'm going to review today for you is um, a first for me, Gabor. I bought a Gabor. This is probably backwards for you, but it's not for me. And I am going to do the unboxing, as you can see. Just came out of the box. I haven't put it on yet. I'm going to be doing the unboxing, and through the magic of YouTube, I am going to snap my fingers, and it'll be three months later, and I'll tell you if people thought it was real hair, if I felt confident, if I felt pretty in it, confident, um, secure, if it was comfortable, if it was itchy, if it was hot, if I think it'd be more for summer, for winter, all those things. And I will be honest with you. Wavy Day from Raquel Welch and it's in Rusty Auburn. And the review for this, the full review, is in uh, on my channel. Just do a little search and, or I will link it in the description box below, but only if I remember, and I may not, uh, maybe I might le link it up here. <laughs> I may not, I might forget. Okay, just flipped it on. First things first, when, as soon as I put this on, this wig is comfortable. I have a 22 and three quarter head. So that's a big head. And this is comfortable. This is very, very comfortable. I'm not going to show you the cap construction. You can find Gabor's Radiant Beauty cap construction on about 5,000 videos on YouTube. I am purely interested on comfort and realism. So uh, <laughs> that is what my reviews are about. I mean, let's be honest. How many of you fast forward through the cap construction on the videos of wig reviews? do a spin. Uh, I love the, the curl pattern. You know, I haven't, I haven't brushed through it because you, you're experiencing the unboxing of this along with me. Um, let's look at the part. You know, parts are really important to me. I think that's, everyone is always really centered on the lace front which is important, but it seems like not everybody uh, seems to, I've noticed, be concerned too much with the part. To me, the part gives it away, whether it's a wig or not. You can see in the part. I really love brands that have a realistic part where it's, it's wide and it looks like your scalp is showing. When it's really dense and like this, that looks like a wig. I've noticed there are certain brands that tend to be really tight in every single wig that I've gotten from them. It's just how they make the wig. And then there are other brands that tend to have that generous scalp looking kind of part. And that's so realistic. I have noticed that Beltress, even though the the fibers are very realistic and soft, their parts are really, I, d I don't like how they do their parts. Sorry. Um, and you know, like I said, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like their parts. I think their parts are very wiggy. So Beltress, I hope you do something about that because I love the, the other parts of your wigs. Um, so yeah, this is uh, not quite sure yet because I haven't uh, spent time, but look at that. You can kind of, that's pretty good, huh? You can kind of see a little, oh, oh. 
What's happening here? <gasps> that a realistic part? That's a realistic part. Good job, Gabor. So let's talk about this color. This is Honey Toast, SS to Honey Toast. This is, if you've noticed, I usually tend on my, from wigs for me personally, I tend towards uh, blondes and redheads. Um, this is a beautiful, it's very dynamic because I was, I was just going to say, this is a warm color, but you know, it's dynamic in that I think it's more of a neutral. It's it's kind of like you can, I think anybody could wear this color. Somebody who goes in for warm colors and somebody who goes in for cool colors because it's not, I mean, let me just put um, Rusty Auburn, which is not, you know, obviously a warm color. See, this isn't, this is a neutral color. This is, this will be flattering on a lot of people. I would say this is a dark blonde with uh, some warmth, but also some cool, cool highlights to it. Really nice. And that's how natural, see that's, that's how natural hair looks like. Uh, I'm trying to put uh, the wig color in some natural light, even though it's, it's very dim uh, sunlight out. You can see how natural that color looks. Uh, it, it is a little shiny, but um, that shine will go away with wear. It's, it's not that bad. There is some shine to it. A little, little bit of like artificial shine. It gives it away a little bit, but some dry shampoo or some wear and tear will take that right out. In a few minutes, it's going to be three months later, and I'm going to give you the scoop on what this wig was like to wear for three months. So through the magic of film and YouTube, it is three months later, and I'm going to update you on Life with Radiant Beauty by Gabor. I want to tell you if uh, I found it to be realistic, comfortable, hot, um, how I felt internally with it, the meaning you know, did I feel pretty in it? Did I feel confident? Um, all those things that I care about and I, I, you probably do too. Is it realistic? I believe it is. I have had many people compliment me on this wig, but they don't compliment the wig. They're complimenting my hair. I have received numerous com compliments um, saying, oh, your hair looks really pretty today. Oh, your hair is so cute. Nobody's known this is a wig. And I went to the dentist where you know they're looking at, I mean, they're right, they're right here. <laughs> and they thought it was my hair. Is this wig hot? Well, it's 19 degrees out right now, so I don't really know. But I can tell you that I've put on an Aesthetica wig this week and s start sweating. So, I, what did I have on? Um, Blaze. I had Blaze on, and uh, I did a review about Blaze. And <laughs> I did a review about the hottest wigs I own and the co coolest wigs I own. Uh, and <laughs> just check it out. Anyway, um, yeah, I, this wig is not making me sweat. Do I feel confident in this wig? I do. I feel pretty in this wig. I feel like it's not a wig. I feel like people will never know it's a wig. It feels realistic to me, and I feel confident in that, and I just feel good about myself in this wig. Yes, I love this wig. I feel good in this wig. Um, yeah. I will tell you what I have did have to do to this wig. Uh, I did have to cut the the lace front. And if you go back uh, to the beginning of this video, you'll see that the lace, the, the lace front is, uh, comes down about here. Uh, it's funny, I was, 
I went to the, like I said, I went to the dentist in this wig uh, for the first time. Um, and uh, I looked in the rear view mirror while I was driving home and I was like, <gasps> like, the, like, it was like this and it was like, like brown. And I was like, oh my God, they must have seen that, you know, the, that horrible feeling that you were found out that you were wearing a wig. Like, it shouldn't even bother us, but oh well, you know, we're human. Well, I did take um, some really sharp scissors and very carefully cut it as close as possible as I could. And I, I think I did, look at that. And the part line is so great this this doesn't this is a really great realistic wig especially now that i cut that <laughs> the color um this color is very realistic this is the kind of color that nobody thinks it's fake this is a realistic this is a color um of a this is a color of someone who goes to the salon and gets their hair professionally colored and highlighted. Um, but it's very, very realistic looking. And a realistic color is going to look like a, like it's your hair. Um, this color is beautiful. Bronze. It's a, it's a light brown, dark blonde. It's a neutral, um, I believe, uh, there's some warmth in it. There's some coolness to it. So anybody could wear it. Uh, thumbs up on Gabor's Radiant Beauty. I look forward to investigating more Gabor wigs. This was my first Gabor wig. And uh, I'm so happy with this that I am definitely going to um, delve further into the Gabor uh, library of wigs. Thank you for, if you're still here, thank you. <laughs> I am so happy that you're here and that I'm talking to you and you're listening to me. <laughs> it feels like, uh, you know, all we need is coffee or some cocktails and like two, two friends chatting about all the little things that we love to chat about and get um, tips from each other. You know, that's, to me, that's what this channel is. This channel is a way to reach out and connect to you. And uh, for me, it's like, like I have something right here. I have um, some beverages and I have my cats and I have everything here cozy. And um, it's like I'm sitting and chatting with a friend. And so I'm so happy you're here. And I hope you subscribe. Let me know uh, anything else that you'd like to see on my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping to uh, get this to about a thousand people. I said that when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'll finally tell you how old I am. Thank you for sitting and chatting with me. Go out there, make it a great day and shine your light because whew, the world needs it. Bye. Thank you.